Guys, come on over to the Boomstick Coffee Shop. There you will find a wide variety of different coffees. You will also find mugs, t-shirts, and a whole host of other items. If you are pro-Second Amendment and like showing your support for the Second Amendment, you will love our t-shirts and hats. Come on over, check out the link down below this video, and we'll see you there. Guys, in this video, I wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you a little exercise that you can do that will help to improve your trigger control. Uh, there's several different exercises that you can do, and what we're going to do in this one is we have a laser bore sighter. I have it inserted into the barrel of my Glock 19X. You guys have seen this on my channel before. It's a great gun. Go over and check out some of those videos. And of course, we do not have a magazine in this firearm and there is nothing in the chamber, okay? That's something that you wanna make sure of whenever you do dry fire exercises. What the goal of this is, of course, when we turn the laser on, basically what I want to do is I want to get on target with, uh, just there again, just any kind of a target will work with this. I want to hold that laser right on the bullseye of that target, and then as I begin building pressure on that trigger, I want to keep that laser from moving from that bullseye. Now, if you jerk that trigger or anything like that, just to give you guys a little bit of an indication, intentionally jerking the trigger, you're gonna notice it bounce around, okay? The goal of this is to keep that laser pointer right on target, and as you begin building pressure on that trigger, you want it to not move. You want it to stay very stable. Now, it, depending on the type of target that you're using, let's see if I can make this flicker. I don't know if you guys can see that flicker a little bit inside the video. What that is, the very center of that target with it being black is not reflecting the laser as brightly just because of the way, you know, the paper and th stuff is with this target. It is not reflecting it. So what I can do, I can actually pinpoint that laser to that very dot, that bullseye of that target to do this exercise. Now it's a little hard to do as I'm going through doing it through the camera. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit better view, you can see it there flickering, getting darker and lighter. And that is because of that bullseye. I hold that bullseye, I hold that laser right there on that bullseye, begin building pressure on that trigger all the way through until it breaks. You know, it's a very simple exercise, something that can help you to become more accurate when shooting a pistol. Of course, your shooting fundamentals apply all the way through. You know, just make sure that you have that good grip, uh, a good stance, keep that sight picture right where you need it to be all the way through, begin building pressure on that trigger. And of course you can use the cartridges as well. Uh, this laser bore sighter is just something that I had, so I decided to use it. And again, I'll put a link to that down in the description below. Great little tool. Those laser pointers can help you to build your accuracy, especially during dry fire exercises. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Let me hear from you. How often do you do dry fire exercises? Uh, you know, is that something that is a regular part of your training? Let me hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the links down uh, in the description below. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel, and we'll see you next time.